This mother married this man. And this man, I remember I had brought him home. And I took him home. And every time I would take him home, because I was keeping him, because mother was still in school. Every time I would take him home, he would scream and holler. I didn't understand. And sometimes his other grandma would tell me to come get him. I'd go back and get him. This happened for about a year and a half. So when his mother got married, I had picked him up. And I decided to let him go, you know, visit his mother and his stepfather. Next thing I know, I get a call. He's almost two years old. I get a call. Beth in the hospital was there at that time on 12th Street said, come to the hospital. And I said, for what? They said, he won't respond to nobody. Maybe if he hear your boy, when I walked in there, I said, run, run. He responded to me. Only my voice, he responded to me. So I said, okay. I stayed at the hospital with him. Decided to bring him home. I was going to give him another chance. Next thing I know, he was in Churim Mercy Hospital. I went over there to Churim Mercy Hospital. I stayed the whole time. And when they told me what had happened, a blow to the head. That's the reason his sight is the way it is today. A blow to the head. His stepfather had hit him some kind of way. When I took him home, he was in perfect shape. But his stepfather hit him. It was a blow to the head. We took him from Jury Mercy Hospital. I rode in the Palmetto with him to Oldham Park to do a CAP scan. And that's what they said. And they told me, said, it's nothing that they could do. Nothing. By the blow to the head, it did something to his eyes. You know, they begin to tell me, there's your eyes got a cord like a telephone cord. When that telephone cord go bad, you, it's no use. So this is what happened to him. And, and I, I'm going to be honest with you, I blame the mother. Because I, me and his people tried to press charge. And they said at that time, since I didn't have full cussing, it was nothing I could do. Nothing. And that's when I began to take full cussing of him. And he asked me a question one day. He was sitting up there watching TV. He said, Mom? I said, yeah. He said, I wonder where would I be if you hadn't had me. And I said, that I don't want to think about. You know, thank God I got you in time. So that's why I tell people, be careful who you put over your kids. Very careful. But I thank God, you know, that I gave custody, got custody of him and watched him grow. And to the young man that he is today. Now, that is for the reason he is really blind, a blow to the head. And you know, that's really sad that a grown man will hit a child upside the head. And then he going to have nerve enough to say, Well, uh, when I laid him down, he was asleep, and he didn't wake up. You, if you got a child sleeping like that, don't wake up. Nine times out of ten, you're going to go check on that child. And why would that child uh, be believed? Because when we looked at him, you know how sometimes he had dips in his head? We knew something was wrong then. Something was wrong. But, and then you have to have that forgiving heart. You have to. You have to. You have to, forgive, to forgive them. But up until this day, I don't want him around here. And he's 31 years old. I still don't feel comfortable him being around him of what he did to him. And see, he remember all of this. He remember what happened to him. Although he was a child, he remember all of this. What happened to him. And it hurts me. But thank God that God gave him the, the vision that he had. You know, that he's able to get around. He may not be able to drive cars or nothing like that, but thank God he's still able to get around. He's still able to do the things in life that he wants to do. That he's really focused on life and focused on what he is doing in life. And I think, and I don't mean to cry, 
but I thank God, you know, for everything he have done. He done brought him this far by faith. And I want him to continue, continue on doing the good work. And I always keep God first in his life. And when you keep God first, you can go a long ways. Because God been good to him. God have really blessed him. And I'm so proud of you, son. Mama love you. Mama love you. Very much. You miss my heart. And when you mess with my heart, you mess with me. Anybody out there feels like I'm talking to myself. No one seems to know my struggle and everything I come from. Yeah. Anybody hear me? I guess I keep talking to myself Feels like I'm going insane Am I the one who's crazy? Oh, 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 Anybody out there feels like I'm talking to myself. No one seems to know my struggle and everything I come from. Yeah. 